we want to find the distance from the point two comma negative four comma three to the x z plane. There are a couple ways to approach this, but looking at the graph of the x z plane, notice how for any point on this plane, the x and z coordinates can be any real number, but the y coordinate must be zero. So if we recognize that the equation of the x z plane is y equals zero, we can determine the distance from this point to the x z plane by analyzing just the y coordinate. Notice how here the y coordinate is negative four. Notice how a point with a y coordinate of negative four would be four units from the plane y equals zero. And therefore the distance from this point to the x z plane is four units. To visualize this though, let's go ahead and graph this point in space. So because the x coordinate is positive two, we'd move in this direction two units. And then because the y coordinate is negative four, we move in the direction of the negative y axis four units, which should be in this direction here. And then because the z coordinate is positive three, we'd move up three units. So this would be the point in space. And notice how the distance from this point to the x z plane would be this distance here which is four units. To get a better perspective though, we could sketch a box for this point that would look something like this. And once again, the distance from this point to the plane would be this distance here, which is the same as the four units that we found here. Let's take a look at another example. Here we want to determine the distance from the point two comma three comma negative three to the x z plane. Well first, notice how any point in this plane, the x and y coordinates can be any real number but the z coordinate would have to be zero. And therefore, if we recognize the equation of the x y plane is z equals zero, we can determine the distance from this point to the x y plane by analyzing just the z coordinate. Notice here the z coordinate is negative three, and therefore this point would be three units below the plane z equals zero, and therefore this point is three units from the x y plane. And again, let's go ahead and graph this point in space. The x coordinate is positive two, so we move two units in this direction. The y coordinate is positive three, so we move three units in the direction of the positive y axis in this direction here. Notice how right now we're still in the x y plane, and then because the z coordinate is negative three, we would go down three units. And now I think we can see that this point would be three units from the x, y plane. And now for our last example, let's determine the distance from the point two comma negative two three to the y, z plane. For any point in the y, z plane, the y and z coordinates can be any real number, but the x coordinate has to be zero. So we know the equation of the y, z plane is x equals zero. So now if we look at the x coordinate of the given point, notice how it's positive two, which means this point would be two units from the plane x equals zero. So the distance will be two units. But again, let's go ahead and sketch the point in space. We would move two units along the positive x axis here. Just from this one coordinate, we can see that we are two units from the y, z plane but because the y coordinate is negative two, we'd move two units in the direction of the negative y axis, which would be this direction here. And then we'd go up three units because the z coordinate is positive three. So again, here's the point in space, but this distance here, two units, represents the distance from this point to the y, z plane. But again, let's go ahead and sketch a box to give this better perspective. This distance here represents the distance from the point to the y, z plane, which is two units, the same as this distance here. I hope you found this helpful.